how God led me to this organization was not in a way that I expected. I had been applying to places on LinkedIn, kind of just throwing spaghetti at a wall and seeing what stuck. Um, and I get a call out of the blue from Jennifer Hand and she told me that she viewed my portfolio and she was able to see my digital storytelling and she really got to know me and that's what really uh, sent me over the edge and I was like I want to work with these people because she really took the time to know who I was and she knew that I was in my faith and she wanted to help me strengthen that relationship with God. So having this Christian internship with You for Orphans has allowed me to know what I want in a future job and I know that morals and ethics are a very important part of what I value and so just making sure that I find a company that aligns with those values is very important to me. I was able to share with our followers uh, pictures from mission trips that Youth for Orphans has gone on and Bible verses and during the pro-life movement um, we were able to share a post and it got so many likes. It was the biggest amount that I'd seen on our page before and so it was just really great to get comments and likes from people who weren't our followers and then we were able to share Youth for Orphans mission with these people because they could see on our page everything else that we do to develop Christian leaders and to help orphans. My life has greatly been impacted by Y4O. I am a part of the Young Adult Nights where we get together and we have Bible studies every other Monday. Uh, I am a part of the core leadership program with my boyfriend and so together we are just able to strengthen our faith and our relationship with Jesus and I really love being a part of this community. I've met so many incredible people and I know that these friendships will last a lifetime. So I had just graduated college in 2020 and um, I sent my resume out everywhere and I also, along with my resume, had uh, an online portfolio and that portfolio was you know, relevant coursework that I submitted to school and I thought it would apply to anything marketing related. Uh, for digital storytelling, I shared a story about my brother who has autism and uh, me being his sister. And then another one of my stories was when I had a tumor in 2018 and it was benign, but um, they did have to shave my head and I have a scar, zigzag scar across the back of my head to get it removed. And I, I have no cancer, I, no more tumor growth. And so um, just being able to make a story about that, it, it showed that my, faith in Jesus Christ, he, he saves, he, <laughs> um, and I'm just so uh, thankful for all the hands that were put on me during that time and all the prayers I had received. And so sharing that story uh, with the world, I posted on YouTube, um, I was taking a big leap there um, and sharing my testimony with everybody. And so when Jen called me and she told me that she saw that story, I was just, <laughs> I think we were both a mess. <laughs> um, and so I just really appreciated that she genuinely cared about me and she wanted to see, she wanted to see me grow in my faith and my relationship with Jesus. Y4O has these neurodiverse Bible study nights and we're able to get together in community and just read the word and just have community serving Jesus. And I love being able to continue that relationship with these people even after my internship. I'm currently in my first year of core leadership and I just love this program. I have a mentor that I'm able to meet with once a week and we're just able to talk about the gospel together. She gives me advice and I'm able to share my story with her and I can hear her story too. And it's great to just have this bond with my mentor. And I know that my boyfriend loves his experience in the program as well. So I'm really glad that we can do it together.